SARS-CoV-2 variants that resist interventions emerged, tracking them became essential to inform countermeasure development. Various groups responded, publishing dashboards with variant data based on independent analyses. However, frequently checking multiple dashboards is time-consuming for those trying to understand that landscape. To better leverage these resources, we launched a pilot study from June 1st through September 9th of 2021, where we explored two mitigation strategies for this challenge. The first is developing an automated pipeline to collect and summarize data from three dashboards to evaluate the feasibility for large-scale version. And the second is assessing websites with findable, accessible, interoperable, and reproducible, or FAIR, principles to determine strengths and gaps in data accessibility among key websites. For the web scraping pipeline, we follow the steps outlined in Figure 1, so right here, this first workflow, to collect dashboard data. So in our case, we were considering variant names and their status as a variant of concern, VOC, a variant of interest, VOI, or a variant under monitoring, a VUM. We created a custom Python web scraping script for each of three websites to extract and clean the data. Then we combined and harmonized these data in RStudio, where we also created summary variables and a heat map to visualize our findings. All scripts are available on GitHub, which can be accessed by scanning the QR code located right here in the methods section. For the assessment, we follow the steps in figure two, the second workflow, to evaluate the accessibility for eight dashboards. We identified 14 categories based on FAIR principles, then we established criteria for each to assess whether they were present, not present, or somewhat present to ensure consistency. These criteria are also available on the GitHub. We then summarized our findings by both category and by website. Looking to the results, this heat map here in figure four shows the variant results from the three websites scraped towards the end of the study period. We were not able to expand it since most of the dashboards we evaluated were not accessible to web scraping, nor did they have other means to export variants or threat levels. The scripts were updated several times throughout the study period, any time the website structures changed, which unfortunately also prevented lasting automation efforts, one of the main goals of our study. Within the heat map, the variant names were retained as listed on each site. They showed high level of agreement, which are visualized by having the same color across all websites or all columns for some variants, um, but discordance for others. So for an example, near the top, you can see that all of these columns are orange for some of these variants. And near the uh, in the middle here, some of these are gray and some of them are orange, showing discordance. Looking now to figure five, for our data accessibility assessment, we counted the number of times each category was evaluated as present, not present, or somewhat present across all eight websites. Most often present, which we visualized as a red line throughout this graph, were categories in visualization and organization. So those are in this green box near the top and the category data use guidelines provided near the bottom here. The least often present categories were in quality and transparency. Those are in the middle box here, the tan one. Finally, looking to figure six, by website, our assessment showed that most of the dashboards evaluated had six to eight or 43 to 57% of our 14 categories present, while one scored above this number and two scored below. Moving now to the discussion. Our main challenge faced on web scraping was accessing dashboard data and keeping it current throughout website changes, which could be alleviated, alleviated through standardizing website structures or adding mechanisms to export these data. Both variety and agreement in the heat map showed that although similarities may be found across sites, they are not identical and could pick up different variants to inform both the ongoing SARS-CoV-2 response and future pandemic responses and indicating the value in these types of summaries. For the assessment, we found that all dashboards were informative for their primary use as online resources. However, implementing additional features for interoperability and reuse may expand their impact beyond this. 
While we are not currently maintaining this project, the concepts and the code pre presented in this presentation and on our GitHub can inform future work in this area.